You know, black folks, basically over the weekend we had something that approached pretty close to an X-class flare. And then again today we've got a spike, okay, almost getting into to, uh, close to X-class again. Also, you see the classification on the right-hand side. And as you go up, and they're going to end up more than likely ended up having to give us Y and Z one of these days pretty soon, possibly. Keep spiking like this. So basically, we come up here, and you'll see it also. When you can see this one here, and then I'll take you to uh, space weather. And this is good news here because at least we're coming out of a cross phase. Okay, get this down here a little bit. It'll be nice to see. So uh, let's go see what we got for pictures. Everybody likes pictures. So we'll go up and take a look at what we got coming across the sun. But that's the big diamond in the sky. And anyway, like I said before, there's stuff hitting and rolling the sun. Okay, and basically not rolling the sun. Okay, it's too small to roll the sun, I believe. But uh, when we cross phase and we get those uh, big movements, uh, they need to wake up and basically say that, you know what, there's huge stuff out there. And basically, whether it's small, but it's not small compared to Earth. Uh, not small compared to uh, Jupiter, but huge stuff uh, is clumping into the sun. Okay, uh, it's not going to hurt. Oh well, I mean, this wouldn't have to say it's healthy, but these are footprints. Okay, uh, that's a footprint. We've been showing you before, and we go down here. This is a footprint, ladies and gentlemen, and I showed you before too. This stuff here. Because the sun rotates around, and as it rotates around, okay, to its left and right, its left and right, no matter what it is, it rolls around on what those smaller marbles are, and you get these tracks and so forth and so on. They don't want to scare the hell out of you that that's what's going on. Footprint, okay, footprint, even your eyes show you. So, layers, layers. So, uh, CME action, let's go to data. This is the most recent, and it's basically the same thing you just seen off of, uh, it's the same thing that you just saw off of the solar image chart when you go look there. They keep stuff pretty up to date, see? Getting close to X-Class, okay? Over the weekend, here's a good example here, too, it'll give you, so you, when you're looking at this, you know how to read it, okay? And then they classify within that spectrum what size it would be, okay? Now this is one that happened way back in, uh, it's known as, I think, a holiday that it happened or something like that or close to it. They call it the, this is a flare that happened on the Steel Day event, okay? And I think there's a year and a date here, yeah. Okay, there you go. That's an old one, okay? So nothing brand, brand new in life, but very high peak activity, okay, because that was our last big peak activity. So here they talk about it, and if you go looking around on the internet, it got close, okay, threshold got close, okay, but it's still, it's still big. I mean, not trying to pull off of that at all. Now, you can go here, and you can click on these when you get to there and everything like that, and you can get the roaring sounds. Let's see if I can open that. hear that steady like that that's the way the sun's supposed to sound but when we get this big clang It's an audio from outer space, ladies and gentlemen. That is your son talking to you, okay? Now, normally the sun sounds like this. But now when that peaked up there and it started going a little noisy there again, that's, again, not good. I mean, it's, let's put it this way. It's astonishing, okay? So when you heard those clanks, and I'm kind of just listening here to see if we get anything real crazy, but this is even real high-pitched.
I want to thank the Scandia or anything, uh, all branches of the military and anything that gave me the message uh, the other night. I got a text message about it with the idea that we got some clanking going on up there because normally it sounds like a drum roll. Okay? And this, I'm just going to, you can see the video so that the idea that here we go back to the clank. Okay? And that's huge stuff out in space, ladies and gentlemen. The sun is not small. It's almost 11 Jupiters, okay? The sun is huge. Okay? Then basically what I want to do is promote this, uh, Dr. Deborah Fisher over from Yale. She was over, I think, in the Big Island, Hawaii. There's going to be somebody that's going to be over there in April, too. Okay. Uh, it's going to have another symposium, you know. So if you're on a nice little trip to Hawaii and have a couple of cocktails and stuff like that, you can go on over there and hang out and go to one of those symposiums and listen to some other history. And I'll put this link here. I'll highlight it there. Maybe you can see it better. And you need to watch both of these. Uh, and basically, it's ba bang, ba bang. This stuff's out there. Okay. And new finds. Okay. So, uh, not quite, you know, I'm not going that far, okay? But the idea that they do have stuff that they're finding that's very close to what we would nicely want to put new, I don't know, boat ramps on? Interesting to check the date out of when they came out with that there. See that, February 29th, 2012, that's kind of interesting date. Next generation weather satellites to improve tornado warnings, and we're not in tornado season, although they tell we we are. And basically, tornado seasons in the summertime when we have hot and cold air masses meet together really fast, and we've been having that because of a lot of stuff, space, so we can fudge up, so forth and so on. And you gotta watch this more meatball action, folks. Okay, and I just throw names on stuff right away. Colin, honestly, I kind of screwed up because I should have put the roar on this one here of giving you the sound of the sun but I kind of knew from a uh, little birdie in a tree about the info I was getting on the drum roll of the sun so we all kind of know anybody that's listened to the sun before it's a long <laughs> just like that it's like a long drum roll uh, bang 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 you heard so uh, you can go around and find it on the internet and I'll try to throw the link in there for that sound you can go to wor uh, spaceweather.com and you'll see it also and they have a link there for it and remember when you watch that uh, volcano in Tokyo, put your nine hours onto it, add nine hours, okay? And there you go. We've got meteor action reports around the United States. And we'll scroll down through this other stuff. Meteor fireball in California, they've seen something. Uh, there's some security camera videos you can go to. Uh, we've also got meteors. That's the California one. So try to help some of these guys out out here. Uh, basically, if you got any video, always check your webcams. If you got a security webcam, uh, keep yourself you know up to date. If your security cam is working, and then maybe you can help people out on the Fireball Network of seeing some of these objects. Uh, this guy's got an email address here. You can go ahead and be nice to hear from him too. See if he's got any footage he can throw on that I can get up that I can load up sometime. So anyway, uh, check that out. Hook up with him if you got any webcam footage anywhere. And basically, uh, people are pretty darn stupid on the internet about all this stuff that's going on. So don't be sending bunk, you know. Don't be sending junk, folks. If you got better things to do, go go play around with some kids that need need to be kept an eye on or something like that. This is kind of adult stuff. We kind of want to know what's going on out there. So if people can throw some uh, actual webcam action if they see, you know, because they're going to know right away whether it's somewhat real or not, stuff like that. So, later. And here's an example to people that are giving me some good stuff on the internet that are actually good. I'm not sure if this is kind of a mistake, but the idea that this is what's going on with Kerasoft or whatever, uh, private dick organizations, because the idea that I had some info on a movie, and I'm going to go see if I can pull that up right now, but then I was shown this. Now, if I made a mistake, I don't see right offhand anything you know and I'm not sure when this was shot so the idea that this could be interesting but at this point in time right now as you see how fast this goes it's just kind of somebody decided to block they're starting to block info okay it's like don't let anybody know there's more than one son my gosh and look at how many people in the world are actually 
check this out. You see, bing, 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 all this action. This is people on this site looking at this information, folks. You're not alone, okay? Tons of people, okay? All over the world. Bing, 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 okay? So this is sky view from Tenerife. I want to thank the guy sending it in, and I'm not on names. They put comments on the video when I make it, and then they want, but otherwise, I always keep confidential any contacts. Okay, so pretty good at not dropping names. Okay, so you've got this action, and basically, I've seen the same thing here in the Midwest because I was seeing a cross. Uh, yeah, he's got here a moon and star action. But anyway, going back, to this to me it doesn't seem to be, I'll let you see it here real fast, I guess. And then I'll just, I don't, I'm, gonna, I'm kind of going to, for footage, I'm just going to go ahead because to me it doesn't seem like much there. And then reflection off dome cam, big deal. That doesn't really matter. But what is interesting here on this, I want to thank him for giving it, is this cross action, okay? Because in the Midwest here, I looked up and seen the moon. And basically, there was a cross light pattern, and it's just triangulation, but from stars and stuff like that. But it was pretty interesting. You look up at the moon at nighttime, and it looked like a, a X Force movie or something like that. Okay, because there was this X action that you're seeing right there, in front of the moon here in the Midwest. So when you looked up at the moon, if you looked at it at certain times, at least anyway, you could see an X pattern in front of the moon. Okay, of light. Of propagation from stars so like I've always said big bangs I just hit refresh we had a 4.1 out on the off the Oregon coast there this afternoon so and remember they've been keep taking a few ticks off all the time we've always known about the one tick and we talked about the 6.7 being a 7.1 originally let's go to RSOE see what we got on RSOE and let's see what we got here from the 12th <coughs> you should be able to see the date through the last go on the bottom I mean, Anybody that was asking before, Lasco and uh, Soho, it's all the same satellites. It's just there's tons of cameras on there. I shouldn't say tons, but there's a lot of cameras on there. you got to have redundancy. You're going to put that much money up in space, you're going to have way more than one. Either that or the cameras are so damn expensive that the idea that they're bulletproof, well, they probably are, but there's way more than one in these positions that they always say they talk about. So uh, let's see if I can get space there was a massive ejection off here on the 12th Did they show it now or not oh nope. there was there was I really there we go we're gonna get it okay hang on let me refresh this okay you see me doing the slider so here you go <laughs> Refreshing helps, huh, folks? little slider action. I'm sure it was just a little glitch there on Java. You know, just a little glitch, right? Okay, here goes your flare. Okay. And you see me with the bar. So, after a while, they kind of just go, game, let's play some games. All right. No games there. That's a popcorn fart, ladies and gentlemen. That's the sun. Okay. That's a big ass I mean, even though it's a little smaller than what you're going to see from the 10th, okay? Because the 10th is humongous, and basically I got that on video, and that was the one I showed you that was processing, so you want to really check that out, okay? The one from the 10th. So, awesome farting on the sun. And this is just small, and really there's nothing more on the, I mean, not much more action here on the end of this. It's basically all right there at the beginning. And you've seen the slider, you've seen what they play with on the videos, so, and I don't play with videos, okay? That's what happens when you leave your window up for a while before you make a movie. It's like, cover it up. Lock them up on the right side. Lock that player up on the right side because there's nothing on the right side. But we got it on the left side because we refreshed the window. There you go. And if you do some quick math, folks, that the numbers that you even get lied to <coughs> on each video on views and stuff like that, I did some, uh, they give us a lot of telemetry on uh, Tube. <coughs> so if Kerasoft or whoever... Uh, basically that puts just the stuff to the back side is the fact that if you do a little bit of uh, math I come up with 661,000 views okay just on the idea of what I've been able to just do some fast math 
on the idea that when they turn around and say so many views and stuff like that, 